first tonight, we hear a lot of talk about broadband and about big checks coming from Washington to help Maine expand high speed Internet service to more people. It's happening often one town or part of a town at a time. And as 207's Don Kerrigan shows us, one particular town is being held up as a model for the rest of Maine. On a side road in Jefferson, the digital future has arrived. In this community where internet service has been mostly slow at best, fiber optic lines are connecting homes to a high-speed world. It's fast, very fast. Uh, much better than the satellite that we had before, especially in uh, bad weather. Bob and Nancy Heinlein were one of the early hookups. So eager to get broadband, they rented a ditching machine and did the digging themselves. He would lose his connection and I couldn't be on anything because I was afraid I would slow him down. No more. Thanks to a big federal grant, LCI Fiber Networks is running 70 miles of fiber optic cable in town to connect 525 homes that are considered unserved when it comes to internet. It's a critical need for this town. We had over half the people in this town when we ran a survey who did not have access to high-speed internet. Diane Summers is chair of the Jefferson Broadband Committee. One of the things we heard in the t from the town office was people looking to move to Jefferson, what do you have available for internet? So the committee came up with a plan, worked with LCI, and when the grant became available two years ago, they went for it. The company put up $350,000. The federal grant is about $3.2 million. It's one of the biggest kind of uh, uh, fiber projects, build-out projects we've done so far. So Alan Hinsey is LCI's marketing director. At least three-quarters of this town will have access to fiber when we're done. But it's a lot of work to get there. And that's why this project in Jefferson may be an example of why tens of thousands of Mainers don't have high-speed Internet now. When you talk about expanding broadband to everyone in Maine, you talk about places like this, side roads off side roads. It means extending those fiber optic cables all over the state to finally get to every home and business that wants them. It's extremely tough. Distance matters. Uh, conditions matter. Uh, available workforce matters. Andrew Butcher is president of the Maine Connectivity Authority the state agency in charge of getting broadband to everyone. Maine will be receiving hundreds of millions in new federal money for broadband, but he says getting the work done will still take a lot of time. This is really complicated work of ensuring secure, reliable internet connection. It's a not insignificant investment for a private company to make. And if there is a town or a collection of towns that has a well-organized set of individuals who represent a demand, that's where the private, that, that's where the market is going to invest. Butcher praises the work of Jefferson's local committee and the partnership with LCI to get the town ready and says their planning could be a model for other places. LCI thinks it is, so they've combined their local technical hub with a sort of welcome center to show new customers what the fiber system can do. Well, we have over 200 applications already. Company Vice President Randall Manning says they're also hoping to spread the word that those fiber optic connections can be used for many things. It has much more capacity than just internet. And we want to consider that every time we talk to a community, I make sure they understand that we can do more. We want to try to work together with them to accomplish that. He says those new lines mean medical service could be provided right to the home. Elderly could be monitored. Schools and local agencies could interconnect. But for the moment, town select woman Claudia Orff Reed says they're just glad to finally get connected. A lot of people work from home now. So it's fabulous. Will will you be a customer? Yes. And she says many others will too. Jefferson, they agree is getting up to speed. LCI Fiber Networks says it's also working with the Island Institute and the towns it serves on the issue called digital equity to find ways to make the service affordable to all residents. The Maine Connectivity Authority says as broadband expands, digital equity will be important everywhere.